What's up guys, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you continuing on my URLs series. Basically in my previous few videos I showed you how to install it on your web server, get it up and running and use the API. However, in a certain amount of time the program will become outdated and you'll need to update it. How exactly do you go about updating a piece of software that you installed by copying a bunch of files into a web server? Well, unfortunately, it can't update itself, so we'll have to do it manually, and the way that we do that may be a little bit confusing for the first time around. Heading across to the URLs page and into the install slash upgrade tab, linked down below in the description, we have upgrade. So step number one, back up the database. This is probably one of the most important steps, just in case something does go wrong. However, it is super unlikely. So to do that, simply log into wherever you have your SQL database and create some sort of a backup. Heading into my web hosting dashboard, I can simply select the actual database. And at the very top, I can go to export followed by quick or custom. I'll save it as quick SQL and CSV just in case. Either way, once you have a backup that you can upload and import to your server in case something goes wrong, we'll head back to the URLs page and we'll follow it with step two. So unzip the URLs archive. Basically, we need to head across to the URLs GitHub page, which is also linked down below. And you just need to head across to the releases tab up here and download the latest version. So I'll download source code.zip. Of course, because you're downloading the source code from the releases page, you could also hypothetically clone this to get the most up-to-date version. However, I'd recommend sticking with releases because those will work properly. They've been tested. Anyways, once you've downloaded the zip, you can open it up. And from here, I like to extract it to my desktop just for ease of use. Once it's been extracted, I'll close the zip and open the folder. Now here's where we need to do a couple of things. So next up, step three, upload files to your server, overwrite your existing install. Now this is usually good. However, just make sure that inside of the user folder, you don't have a config.php file. It's just config sample.php. So you don't go ahead and overwrite your old settings. Now, of course, if you changed anything else, you'll need to make the changes here so that they match your server. Looking at my server, I'm inside of the folder s.tcno.co, which is my short linking service URL. Basically, I've renamed the admin to admin to make it a little bit more difficult for people to find if they come searching for it. Now, of course, I'm not going to leave it like this, but this is just for an example. So if you've renamed the admin folder to make it more difficult to find, you can simply find it in your local directory, rename it so that it matches your website, select everything, drag and drop it across and upload them. Now, of course, using files that I'm asked if I want to overwrite, I'll click always use this action and I'll go overwrite if size different or source is newer and I'll wait for this to finish. And there we go. It's now finished. If I want to head across to my web server, s.tcno.co slash admin. And of course, once you successfully log in at the very bottom, you'll see powered by URLs v1.7.4 or whatever the latest version is. In my case, it was 1.7.4. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name is Vintech Number here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.